here's a 3d view with a 3d program always changing ways to be able to see the real surface terrain how it's formed how it's shaped it brings out other details other structures other anomalies that are on the surface of the moon this video my friends is amazing I have um, a beautiful pan over Copernicus crater ever so close and this again no uh, magic here it's done with a four inch telescope not even five inches now listen when I get the big telescope and I know we will very soon I'll be continuing this process this technique to get the surface and the videos are going to be absolutely mind astonishingly blowing I promise I know it so far the technique is getting better I found uh, another editing breakthrough today my techniques advancing what do I mean by my technique my editing skills that's my technique and I did some good work today some good progress guys to be able to show you I'm gonna show you everything I did today you're gonna love the close-up of Copernicus crater we're right over top like we had a I'm not joking like we had a 14 inch telescope and the road just smack dab there okay 12 <laughs> you'll see for yourself you'll be able to tell me what you guys think of it here an x-ray shot again over craters a crater bottom side of the moon mountainous mountainous areas that we can see the terrain detail lines going here and there to and from many areas many craters just an overall exceptional view of the surface here this is not only an x-ray shot but the x-ray filter is applied you know you could be using filters you could be using programs I'm using both I'm mixing everything and anything until now I have a technique that instead of using 22 programs I can use 7 to 10 and bring out amazing quality photos and a different way of viewing the, the terrain which is great it's exceptional changing the light light is magic guys light you can do anything with photography with light Now, please direct your attention and pay great attention to this area behind sinus iridum you can see that passing the side over the top of the edge of the moon and we can see it's called a crater it's not but here is the city there are so many structures here inside of a, um, a massive haze uh, many many buildings behind sinus iridum Go behind sinus iridum and run off till you get to the edge of the moon on a full moon and look at what is there this is what we are seeing and with this light technique again able to see the structuring and various details now look here i'm going to zoom really close into this one and why do i do it with this photo and others and i show this filtering technique and way because this is just an exceptionally clear photo I destroyed to show you this there are structures on the surface that are geometrical that's what people are not noticing they're there and they're very very real here this is the same place again with light shot on it and you can see the light emanating from the back itself it's ever so bright and there are the structures all the way down here to this towards the center they're very hard to see very hard to find a proper filter to be able to show them to you but nevertheless they are there and we can see them at times depending on when you are filming um, the moon you know the atmosphere does come into consideration but you know it doesn't completely take everything away it just 
it distorts, it changes um, your footage quality. Here, another beautiful shot of light into the crater here. Let's see what size and structure is the, what shape the, the inside of the crater is the structure there. Now look at this beautiful shot, mesmerizing, where you can see um, Archimedes, Sinus Iridum, Plato Crater, just a beautiful shot. Montes Apenninus here. Now look at this at the back, the structures. They are structures. There are walls. Um, this was built here again, structure on the bottom. Sinus Iridum, here's the tip of Sinus Iridum. They look very colorful. When you uh, zone into these areas, you find these massive colors, whether they be emanating gases, I don't know, the structures, it's just so colorful after post-processing a photo of the moon. Plato created to the right of my hand. Look at Sinus Iridum over top. Beautiful. I love working it. I love working on this. Look at the surface. Beautiful, mesmerizing, clear surface. All these areas. Now here, see from Tycho Crater, all these elevated wall-like objects on the surface are most definitely walls. Look at this beautiful shot I was able to get with my 4-inch. Imagine the Celestron 1500 millimeter uh, telescope, but then through editing, able to get it at least this close to be able to see the structures in the center. Close enough um, to the real thing, you know. Enjoy this. This is an x-ray um, x-ray shot and it kept a lot of the color in it, boy. I'm telling you, it is vibrant and you can see a very, very nice detailed outline of the surface and so much greenery.